Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we will discuss the Destiny 2 update coming on March 12th for Season of the Drifter. Bungie team heard and see number of issues to the game this past week. Remember to subscribe for more gaming content and hit the like button. So Season 6 kicked off with a brand new update to Gambit called Gambit Prime, a new game mode The Reckoning with higher risk and higher rewards. But few in the community knows that the rewards haven't been dropping, the power level are below 650. There are two issues that Bungie has been tracking. Reports of powerful sources granting 0 plus rewards. Current investigation points out that it's being from daily bounties being carried over from last season and being used to progress weekly bounties. We will continue to look into the issues and to the cause we are examples of zero plus drops. Director challenges are dropping lower power drops than expected. We expect players to hit the minimum reward power bumps of 690 and that's being hit at 650 instead. We have a fix ready for this issue. We're working it to ship this hot fix of 2.02 sometimes after we ship the next week's update. They continue on with this statement. As with all releases, we update power for sources and add additional sources. It's our goal that the seasonal in-game progression takes roughly the same effort from season to season, meaning that the 650 to 700 should roughly be at the same as 600 to 650. Some sources are faster, some are slower, but the overall experience is expected to be, to be capable. We missed the power source tuning changes in the patches and we're looking to improve our patch notes process for future updates. If you guys remember from the previous article, Bungie will no longer use bounties from the last week's update to boost up your power level for the next season. In other news, annual pass holders, the Thorn Quest kicks off tomorrow with a new map for Gambit Prime called Deep Six on Titan. And Friday, Tier 3 of the Reckoning will be available with the Invitation of the Nine, a nine-week event for players. Players will visit Zerd on March 15th to pick up the Invitation. Once they fulfill the Invitation, requirements will transfer into a bounty called Into the Unknown. But by completing this, bounties will reward with powerful gear and new lord. And finally, the Allegiance quest will request you to choose between the Vanguard and the Drifter. Pick a side to progress through the quest from their perspective. So you have more than one character, you will see both perspective, but if you have one character, pick carefully. That is it for today's video. Make sure you check out the links in the comment section for more on the updates coming tomorrow for Destiny 2. Remember the reset time has changed because of daylight saving time. The daily and weekly resets are 10 a.m. Pacific time. If you'd like to see more Destiny 2 videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Share today's video and remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications on my next video. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching.